use overtime in Tianan, we will create one new overtime. Before that, if you refer to our payroll cost book, you will see under this chapter 10 overtime, we already provide you with a box to explain on overtime benefit for employees that we involve in this chapter. So we have put the overtime benefit for employees which is salary below 4,000 and salary above 4,000. For overtime on working days is 1.5 times salary below 4,000 and for salary above 4,000 there's no entitled. Overtime on rest day is 2 times for salary below 4,000 but not entitled for salary 4,000 above. Overtime on holiday is 3 times but for salary 4,000 is not entitled. For work rest day is 1 time for below 4,000 but 1.5 times above 4,000. And last one is work holiday is 2 times but salary for above 4,000 is 2.5 times. So the additional of 0.5. Now, under this task 10.1, we will create one overtime. So first, please go to Tools and select General Maintenance. Then we click on Overtime. So by right, we already created for you three types of overtimes that you can choose, which is daily pay, hourly pay, or monthly pay. So firstly, we need to do is we will create a new overtime group. So we click on Add New. The new overtime group the code is monthly pay two and description is OT OT monthly pay four thousand and above. So we want to differentiate between the salary below 4,000 and above 4,000. So means the standard group and also the major group. And rounding method, this one is optional for you to select. So either once we already calculate for the overtime later, you want to have a rounding or you make it as a default. So you're able to choose round to 5 cent or round to 10 cent. Then ignore this one. Then we have to click on add detail. Under this add detail first for the title uh, for the first title we have to enter public holiday for the unit is day calculate as a day and quantity is work holiday means this one is public holiday so what is the overtime and title if the staff which salary above 4000 need to work on public holiday work holiday and then for this one there's no EPF contribution but we do pay so, -so and pay tax but there's no HRDF involved and we need to click on the formula so for the formula we have to enter is we have to choose from others and then we select on basic rate slash mean divide with 26 day because our calendar we already set follow the fixed day now close the bracket and time with 2.5 because in our course we already mentioned for salary above 4,000 if work on holiday is 2.5 time for the formula so once you're done you click on save and don't forget to click on save here then we add detail again the second one we have to enter is for rest day you need calculate as day and quantity is work on rest day means if during the rest day if you already said the rest day is saturday and sunday and if this person or employee which monthly salary is four thousand and above need to work on the rest day saturday or sunday they will receive the they will receive the um 
OT for work on rest day and the formula is and the formula is basic rate divide with 26 and time with 1.5 so once you're done, you click on save. You must make sure that the formula that you indicate here is correct. Because once you already calculate later in your process payroll, you will get the incorrect amount if you put the wrong formula. So once we're done, we click on save. And don't forget to click save here. So we have done under under the new overtime group which is monthly pay true so once you have done set everything you just click on save then you will see overtime monthly pay true created successfully you will see monthly pay true already created under overtime group